let's construct a regular octagon using a compass uh, using a, pro, uh, a compass and a ruler okay I'm going to use a line tool you can use a ruler you should have a compass and we'll check uh, with the protractor with our construction is right so an octagon so let me first draw an octagon this is eight sided polygon is called an octagon okay so uh, the first thing that I'm going to draw is a circle so this is my compass okay so this compass I've got a green lid so let me use a different lid yeah say let me drag down I want to draw a circle uh, okay so say so yeah this is my center this is my center O and I'm going to draw a circle so I'll drag this compass this is the center of the compass and I'll drag it to say this radius whatever that radius is I'll change color so let me make it brown and draw a circle okay so uh, okay now I'm going to draw a line a, a line segment of our diameter because I'm going to draw a diameter say passing through the center so this is a diameter say let me start with say this is point a okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to split uh, i'm going to draw a perpendicular bisector i'll write o later on here so this is i want to draw a perpendicular bisector so let me name this say b let me name this b okay so to draw a perpendicular bisector uh, or yeah a perpendicular bisector through o let me make this a smaller arc a smaller radius let me move this slightly so it's exactly on o and let me draw a circle okay so i'm going to drag this to this point and slightly make this radius slightly bigger okay and drag this and let me make this slightly bigger that's fine now i want to draw an arc above the uh, an arc which covers this radius or with this point okay, so let me draw a, a smaller arc same way you bring it down and draw another arc okay i'm going to move this here this electronic compass is really neat it can do amazing things so i want to draw one more arc here so i'm going to join this two and this when i join this point with this point you will get a perpendicular bisector of line segment a b okay so i'm going to use a line tool to save time so this line i'll, I'll select this and if i drag this 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 is you can use a ruler i'm using the line tool to save time so this line is perpendicular and also passing to the midpoint of ab so o is the center okay so this i'm going to now move this to this side this side oops yeah so i want to bisect uh you can make this slightly smaller no sorry so you have to take the radius slightly move this yeah, that's fine so i want to draw the perpendicular say this is say a b this is a c and this is a d i want to draw this is a point o i want to draw the bisector of angle a o c to draw the bisector of a o c i have to bisect angle a o c for which i have to draw an arc 
so this is the radius from this point to this point so i'll draw an arc here somewhere here uh yeah so this is an arc now this here and draw an intersecting arc like this so this will bisect if i join with this point this will bisect angle aoc same way you have to put it here and say so let me move this Oops, so this has to come here this is the center and draw an arc I'm going to move this here and then move and draw an intersecting arc oops I to confirm whether I've got the same arc same radius here yeah, that's fine and draw an arc an intersecting arc so now I'm going to use again a line tool you can use a ruler join these two points and extend it to the other end okay i'll do the correction work later so this is bisecting okay i'll have to do a little of modification so this is the bisector of boc this is the bisector of boc and i'll modify this slightly I think this is fine so so the, let me name this point this is your B this is a B C B so let me name this E let me name this E and this point F okay and this is G and H so this is and now i'm going to join these points a g d and uh, that will be a regular octagon okay so let me change color only for the sake let me make it thinner and use a blue color so so now i'm going to use a line you can use your ruler this is a e e c CH HB BF BF CD and so this is a regular octagon the name of the reg regular octagon is A G D F B H C E it's a funny way of naming it so this is a regular octagon now just to confirm this angle this angle okay so let me do a little bit of uh, geometry this would be uh, this angle you got eight angles so this will be 45 degrees how did i know because 360 divided by 8 is 45 degree so if this is 45 this okay you can do in different ways this would be 67.5 okay you can think about it if this is 67.5 this is also this would also be 67.5 degree so this is the total angle this angle would be 135 degrees okay so let's check using a compass hopefully i can use the compass properly select uh, let me move this hopefully yeah uh, that's good so I'm going to move this yeah this is working very good I was not sure this angle this angle uh, this angle is 135 so let us see this is 160 this is 67 if you can measure this is 67.5 hopefully uh, this is 67.5 roughly okay i'm not very good in using this protector you can understand so this is 45 this is 67.5 this is 
135. So let me try the last time. Suppose if I put it here, uh, the angle from okay so this is 135 yeah this angle so let me make it bigger yeah so this is one this is from here this is zero 135 hopefully you can see this 